The Activision Decathlon, or just Decathlon for short, was released in 1983 by Activision, obviously. It's a track and field game, not to be confused with track and field, which came out in the same year. You can play any of the 10 different events of your choosing, or just run through all 10 of them in a gauntlet. There's the 100 meter dash, long jump, shot put, high jump, 400 meter race, 100 meter hurdles, discus throw, pole vault, javelin throw, and 1500 meter race. It's true that basically all the events are similar to some degree. You're pretty much either running or running and triggering an event at the right time, like tossing something, jumping over hurdles, or launching yourself up. And because it's the 2600, you kind of expect it all to feel like it's the same shit with a fresh coat of paint, kind of like how Video Olympics was pretty much a glorified collection of Pong games with minor variations. That's similar to this, but there's something about this game where it doesn't really feel that way. It might be the presentation, because the graphics and animation are very well done. All the items like the pole vault, pole, javelin, hurdles, all this shit could have been rendered in a generic blocky format and everything would have looked the same. Instead, it's all very well defined and you've got some nice touches like the crowd in the background and the torchbearer running down the track in the beginning for the opening ceremony, along with the excellent rendition of the Olympic theme song, which puts you in the mood right away when you plug this thing in. So that's all the cosmetic stuff. As far as the game itself, like I said, it does all feel similar to each other, but there are enough nuances when it comes to timing your throw or jump or whatever. What can kick your ass is the button mashing, or really the joystick jerking. No, that's not a good name for that at all. But that's pretty much what's going to make up 90% of what you're doing. Because to run, you've got to rock the joystick from left to right to left and so on and so forth as fast as you possibly can while the fire button just activates the throw or jump or whatever. It does get to be tiring working the joystick continuously like this, especially the 1500 meter dash, which can take like 5 minutes to finish, give or take, depending on how much you can serve yourself. And while this can be a pain in the wrist, it's also an accurate representation of the race itself. It's an endurance race. Nobody running a marathon is going to be going balls out the entire time, that's why they say it's a marathon, not a sprint. That being said, even if you do go with the conservative approach, it's still very likely to wear you out. But then again, giving you a workout might be the point. This was well before the Wii Fit, so joystick jerking was about the only option. You can play up to four players in alternating mode, and the game keeps track of everybody's point totals and such. Or you can just keep track of the results yourself and have as many players as you want. Yeah, some of the events are very similar to each other, and the constant joystick jerking might get to be a bit much, but hey, if you want the gold medal, you gotta bring it. And while there is a lot of emphasis on the stick spamming, aside from the dash events, the most important game mechanic is timing when you push the fire button. So it's not just a button masher with pretty graphics. It's actually a well-rounded track and field game that happens to have pretty graphics.